this video, I want to discuss the most important test that a math major takes if they're thinking about going to graduate school. So if you are a mathematics major and you're thinking about going to graduate school, we're going to discuss the most important test that you will take. And it's a hard test. There is no easy way to prepare for this test. You basically just have to know a lot of mathematics. But later on in this video, I will give you a resource that you can use that will really help you with the test and some other pointers and tips that you can use to help you relax and hopefully have a better test taking experience. This video was motivated by an email I received. So I'm going to start this video by reading the email briefly and then doing my best to answer it. The email comes from a person, their name is Hoang, and the subject is math for the GRE and computational modeling. Hi, I'm a computer science undergrad about to start my three years of study in October. I'm interested in computational modeling and wish to pursue this field for post-grad. And in honor of this goal, I understand I'll need to self-study a lot of math on my own. In my third year, I wish to sit for the GRE mathematics test. I have two years and seven months, give or take, to prepare for the test and develop my modeling skills. Currently, I'm looking at calculus, linear algebra, real and complex analysis, point set topology, network theory, and statistics and probability. Although I'm not too sure if they're a step in the right direction, I know that calculus and algebra are important for the GRE, but for computational modeling, I'm quite at a loss. Do you have any math books that you would recommend? Thank you very much. P.S. English is not my first language. I apologize if this doesn't come across right. So first, let me say that for computational modeling, um, I don't really have any specific recommendations. So if anyone else has recommendations for computational modeling books and stuff, leave a comment. Instead, let's focus on the GRE because it sounds like you're preparing for postgraduate studies in computational modeling and many schools, especially the better schools, will require that you take the mathematics subject test. So for those of you that don't know, again, the subject test is definitely the most important test that a math major will take if they are planning on going to graduate school. And it's also viewed in some sense as, by many people, it's viewed as the great equalizer in some sense, by many people. Because when you apply to graduate schools, they, they look at the whole package, right? They look at what courses you've taken, what are your grades in those courses? They look at your letter. Usually there's a letter you have to write, like, you know, why do you want to study mathematics at the graduate level? Um, they look at letters of recommendation from your professors, uh, any undergraduate research and things like that. But the math subject test, it's, it's kind of like, if you can do good on that test, it doesn't matter what anyone says about you. It doesn't matter what your grades were. It shows that you can do math. And many people, they almost view it as more important than grades because, you know, some teachers are easier than others. You know, you could take an analysis class at a certain school with a teacher and then take another analysis class at another school with another teacher. And one class can be way harder than the other. I've seen it. I've seen classes that are super easy and I've seen classes that are super hard. And I'm sure you all know this. If you've had different teachers and for different classes, some teachers are way harder than others. Some are better than others. You learn more in some classes than you learn in other classes. It's just how it works because teachers are people and people are different. So you're going to get a different experience with a different teacher, especially at different schools. So the GRE math subject test costs, I believe, $150 to take. It's offered, uh, I think, three times a year, and it's about two hours and 50 minutes long. And it is a brutal experience because people who take this test study for weeks and months. And the test is created in a way such that you basically just have to know mathematics. Like the more math you know, you know, the better you'll do. But that doesn't stop people from studying. It certainly didn't stop me from studying. So I have several rare books. I don't know where they are. They're like old actual practice exams that were officially published by, I believe it's called ETS. Let me check. ETS is the company that, uh, yeah, Educational Testing Service. They used to produce practice exams that you could buy. And I have a couple of rare copies of those old ones. But most people don't have access to that. So what you want to do is you just want to go on Amazon and get a book for the GRE. So here's the one I bought many years ago. It's called uh, the Mathematics Subject Test, GRE, by the Princeton Review. And you can still get this book in newer, newer editions. I will leave a link in the description uh, to this book. And this is pretty much the book that every math major buys or other variants of this book from Amazon. 
to prepare for the GRE. So you buy the book, it, it gives you uh, a really good overview of the different areas of math. So there's actually really good examples in this book. Don't let don't let the silly cover with the person on it, and it, it doesn't look like a math book, but it is. It's got actual mathematics in it, right? It actually has like, you see some matrix operations there. It's got a lot of math, and you can actually use this book to learn math, and, and you will. You'll actually learn a lot of math from this book. I learned math from this book. I remember reading the book and thinking, wow, we didn't cover that in my calculus classes, or we didn't cover that in linear algebra. There's different types of problems that you'll see in this book that you might have not seen in your other classes. Also, it serves as a great review. So once you know some mathematics and you pick up that book, it's going to refresh your memory on all those topics. And it'll get you used to the multiple choice aspect of the math subject test. The subject test is hard. I have known people that have stressed out about it. I stressed out about it. Um, I remember when I took the subject test, I walked out of the room and there was a girl and she was crying and she was just covered and she had her head down and she was walking and she was crying and I knew her, I know her name, but I didn't really know her and I wanted to walk up to her and say, hey, are you okay? But I didn't and she kept going and she went on with her life and she got into a really good graduate school. I, I don't know um, where she is now in life, but I know that she got into a really great school and life went on. Did she do bad on the test? I don't know. I just know she was crying and I had never seen her cry before. So it's a tough situation for people. The subject test is a lot of stress. It's really good you're thinking about it now. My advice would be this. Since you have so much time, focus on just learning as much as possible in the classes that you're in, right? Because you're just getting started. Just learn as much as possible. I used to have this professor and he used to always say, just, just focus on learning. And I would, I would think, oh, that's really good advice. But it's hard to do when you have to get good grades because obviously you have to get good grades, right? If you're going to graduate school, your grades have to be top notch. So you just have to find that balance where you can focus on learning and you can also focus on getting A's. And it's a hard balance. And if it was easy, everyone would do it. But as far as specific preparation, I think a book like this one is actually really good. As, as cheesy as the cover looks, I mean, I think it's a cheesy cover. It has no math on the cover, right? Um, it just has some random person's picture. Uh, this book does actually have serious mathematics in it. There's a lot of math. You can see sample questions there. And the questions are tricky. Even if you already know the calculus, even if you already know algebra, it's hard. They're tricky questions. So it helps to get a hold of as many practice resources as you can. And again, when it comes to the test day, just walk in there, relax, and tell yourself it's going to be okay, and you know, do your best. And if you do really good on the test, the world is yours, right? People who score really high on that test can get into really good schools. I remember when I was applying to schools, uh, I know like the University of Pennsylvania, I believe that's Ivy League, they had the they had they used to have some information on their website, and it would tell you the average score of a typical entering student. Uh, like the average GRE score, it would say something like, you know, the average score of, of the typical entering student is X, Y, Z. And it would give you the numerical number. And it was like a really high score. I'm like, wow, the people who are getting into this school are really good. I, I didn't go there. I didn't apply there. But uh, it just shows that, you know, people that go to really good schools get really high scores in the GRE. So it is a, it is an important test, right? If you, if you get into a really good school, I mean, if you get into Harvard or MIT, that, that's pretty life-changing or, or even anything in the top 20 or 30. It can make a big difference. Uh, you, you, the school matters. It does matter. Usually when you go to a really good school, you're, you're going to get, well, better schools to work at a better school, to be a professor at a really good school. You have to be really good because it's very competitive. You have to know mathematics and you have to be a good teacher. So you have to do both. And so they can be picky. So they try to hire the best faculty. So you get teachers that are pretty good. Very rarely will you get a bad teacher at a very good school. Also, the students, your classmates at these schools, if you, if you do well in the GRE and you get into a good school, you'll be surrounded by classmates that are highly motivated. When you surround yourself with people who are better than you, it kind of forces you to keep up. You know, When I went to graduate school, I was average, whereas as an undergraduate, I was usually in the top three in most of my classes, maybe top five in some classes, but I was up there. I was one of the best students. When I got to graduate school, I was right in the middle. So... I just had to survive, right? So it, it forces you to be better when you surround yourself with better people. And that's very true in graduate school and in anything in life, right? And if you surround yourself with people who are, are better than you in a particular thing, uh, 
it will help you grow and it will make you a stronger person. Anyways, I'll leave a link in the description um, to this book. And if anyone else is studying for the math subject, uh, GRE test, get this book. Uh, and you could actually just buy this book just for fun because it has all kinds of interesting math in it. Um, so yeah, it covers a lot of mathematics. It's kind of rare to get a book that covers so much math. Again, don't let the cheesy cover throw you off. This is an actual math book. It's, it's, it's got some serious mathematics in it. If you want to learn mathematics, I do have courses on my website, mathsorcerer.com. The courses are actually on the Udemy platform, but please use the links through my website. It helps me. And uh, I lowered the price on all my courses to as low as possible. So if you use my links, I'm pretty sure you'll get the lowest price. Um, so yeah, I've got courses on algebra, calculus, advanced calculus, abstract algebra, etc. Also, if you're not a subscriber and you found any value in this content and you want to subscribe, subscribe if you want to. If not, that's okay too. But the main message you should take away from this video is the math subject test. The math GRE subject test is important. If you're watching this video and you're taking it, don't worry, right? It's not everything, right? There's other things that go into your application, so don't freak out. But learn as much as possible as you can as an undergrad, okay? Just focus on learning and grades too. I know it's hard. And then when it comes time to prepare for the test, or even if you want to prepare early, get a book like this one. I'll leave a link in the description. And that can help you learn a lot of mathematics and help you get used to the multiple choice aspect and the flavor of the questions that you might see on the test. Honestly, despite all the practice tests I took, I, I remember sitting in that room taking the test. It was like this big auditorium. And um, yeah, I was nervous, but I, I thought I did really well and I ended up doing okay. So you never know how you're going to do, right? Anyways, until next time, good luck. Keep doing mathematics.